Hey everyone, here's a question from XS 12.1, seventh question, chapter is ratio and proportion of class six. The question is, find the ratio of the following. We have four different question. First one is 30 minutes to 1.5 hour. So here they have given minutes and they have given hours. So when are we finding out the ratio, the units should be same. Here we have minutes and we have here we have hour. I'm gonna convert hours into minutes. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Even you can convert minutes into hours we will get the same answer. So 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Here we have 1.5 hour that is one and a half now we have. So whenever you're converting a higher unit to smaller unit we multiply. Hour is greater right so we multiply. So it is 1.5 multiplied by 60 minutes which will be equal to 90 minutes. So I'm going to write down the ratio once again. It's 30 minutes to 1.5 hours right. So this will be 30 minutes to 90 minutes. Now we can find out the ratio. So I'm going to remove the units. We don't write units in the ratio. So this will become 30 is to 90. Now reduce it. So when you're reducing, I'm going to convert this into fraction. So 30 by 90. Cancel the zeros. Cancel 3 and 9. 3 ones are 3 threes are 9. So here we got 1 by 3. Convert back this into ratio. So 1 is to 3 will get. So this is a ratio 1 is to 3. Now second question. And the second question, if you see, we have centimeter and we have 1.5 meter, 40 centimeter and 1 to 1.5 meter. One is in meter and one is in centimeter. Again, both should be the same unit. So we're going to convert meter to centimeter. We know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So 1.5 meter will be equal to 1.5 multiplied by 100 centimeter. Again, we're converting meter to centimeter. That's a higher unit to smaller unit. So we should multiply. When you multiply, you will get 150. 150 centimeter. Now find out the ratio. So we have here 40 centimeter to instead of 1.5 meter, I'm going to write down 150 centimeter. Now write down the ratio form. This will become 40 is to 150. Now we have to reduce it. So I'm going to cancel the zeros. I'm going to first convert this into a fraction. 40 by 150. Cancel the zeros. We got 4 by 15. We cannot cancel this further. So the ratio will become 4 is to 15. That's it. So this is second question. Now let's go to third one. Third one we have 55 paise to 1 rupee. So paise and rupee both are different unit. We're going to convert rupee into paise. We know that one rupees or one rupees is equal to hundred paise, right? So fifty five paise. The question is fifty five paise to one rupee. So instead of one rupee, we write down hundred paise. Now when I write down this in ratio, this will become fifty five is to hundred. I'm going to convert this into fraction. So 55 by 100. Cancel this in 5 table. 5 11 is 55. 5 20 is 100. So this is 11 by 20. I'm going to write down this in a ratio form. So ratio will become 11 is to 20. That's it. Then the next question. This is last one. We have milliliters and liters here. So 500 milliliters to 2 liters. So we know that everything should be in the same unit. I'm going to convert liter to milliliter. We know that one liter is equal to thousand milliliters. So when you convert this two liters, we are converting liters to milliliter. That is higher unit to smaller unit should be multiplied. So this is two into thousand milliliters, which will be two thousand milliliters. So we got 2000 milliliters. Now let's find out the ratio. So we have 500 milliliter to 2000 milliliters. Yes. Now I'm going to find out the ratio. When you write down the ratio, we don't write the unit. So it's 500 is to 2000. So convert back this into fraction so we can cancel it. So 500 divided by 2000. I'm going to cancel the zero. So this two zeros and this two zeros will get cancelled. We got 5 by 20. Cancel this in 5 table. 5 ones are and 5 fours are. So here we got 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 is to 4. That's it. So ratio is 1 is to 4. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.